They are created in laboratories and they are created as little kids. So, you are a youth worker and you have decided to use LARP, live action role playing, as an educational tool. Uh, you have a firm belief that games is the way that humans learn things. You know that if we can create deep emotions, the learning will be better. Uh, you also believe in the power of imagination. You know that people need to leave their comfort zone and be a bit nervous in order to learn things in their learning zone. LARP is perfect for this. Educational LARPs uh, should create conditions for learning, uh, relearning and de-learning. In LARP participants are going through all sorts of life experiences in a nutshell. Experiencing it stronger and faster and more intensive. Uh, it may, and in our opinion it should, create a change. LARP in general stands for Live Action Role Play and there are many different types of LARP such as Anglo-Saxon which focuses mostly on action and fighting then the Nordic LARP which focuses on immersion and Chamber LARP which is a smaller type of LARP which doesn't use any costumes or huge props. So, actually it was my first time when I played the LARP I had a lot of fun and I learned a lot of things and uh, when I had uh, some problems uh, the, the other people gave some advice to me so the first one is that when you first start to play uh, LARP choose a character more similar to yourself because uh, it may happen that you'll uh, freeze and uh, you don't know what to do and the second one is to uh, choose another uh, friend maybe a person who's uh, more friendly to you so when you need help to go for that person and ask I need help <laughs> but I think that uh, the most important thing is to enjoy what you are doing <laughs> 